Welcome back to school, guys. Back to school reactions. Tom McDonald dropped a new one. Uh, it's called I Don't Drink. Uh, boy, uh, we got a plan today. Uh, a bunch of us are going to react to this. Uh, a bunch of my friends are going to react to this. And I'm going to try and figure out what they're going to do on their reactions. Uh, well, of course, I'm going to type some of the stuff for myself for my own reaction. But I want to know what they're going to do. Sorry, guys, I had a wrinkle there. I want to know what they're going to do on there. So I'm going to try and guess as we go along. This should be interesting. You guys, new to, our, new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell notification button. Select all uh, as I drop cool videos. Uh, the guys I'm talking about, I'm talking about Casual Cheater. I'm talking about uh, uh, the Three Vets React. Um, uh, 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 I don't know who else is doing this, um, but I, I know those guys are. So I'm going to jump into it and kind of figure out what I think they're catching. Um, and I'm pretty sure with a song called I Don't Drink That, I'm going to get preached to afterwards. Uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is this is Tom McDonald. I Don't Drink. As always, Tom McDonald spits fire. He always makes you think. It's it's it, uh, it's thought-provoking music. His productions are amazing. The, the fact that he does his stuff on his own and that Nova does his videos and they, and they, they produce his stuff, get this stuff out, they... They, they mail the CDs themselves. I mean, come on, you guys. You got to respect that. That's what I'm saying. You just got to respect that. All right? So, hey, what the heck? I did. Okay, there we go. Ready? Tommy McDonald. I don't drink. I screwed up. I just want to say I'm sorry. It's all my fault. You should probably ignore me. Oh, my God. I should have given you a warning. All my friends are sick and tired of the story. I don't drink. Okay. When I'm drunk, I'm annoying. Call your <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the best way I've ever heard it put. I don't drink because when I drink, I'm annoying. I've heard all the other things like I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to alcohol. What happens when you drink alcohol? You break out in handcuffs. I've heard all of those, but that's about the most accurate way to describe it. Um, wow. I, I, I wonder what they're thinking right now of the intro, uh, the, the light amount of auto-tune on it, which I, I respect the way he uses that and then goes into the beat. The the beat, I'm wondering what they're thinking of it. I bet you that, that Casual is already analyzing the beat. Already analyzing the beat. Let's see. No. Your phone. We I don't drink. Okay. When I'm drunk, I'm annoying. Call your phone. When it's three in the morning, <laughs> yeah, start right. a fight. Park the whip in your garden. Probably think <laughs> I am mentally retarded. <laughs> oh my god! Anybody who ever spent any time in AA knows these stories, man. Sounds like a bunch of people have already heard their stories before. Good lord. Uh, dude, is he literally just like shooting a video in front of his fireplace or something? Holding an SM50, a sure mic, a corded sure mic, too, which I, I respect that. That's musician stuff right there, right? I'm blown away by this. Let's go. Whip in your garden, probably think I am mentally retarded. Please don't call me crazy because I'm not. Last right. night, I had one too many shots. Last right. Night, got arrested by the cops. Woke <laughs> up on the neighbor's front lawn. Every oh, yeah, that, that might I'm be considered over, a bad day. It's myself, I'm dying. Where the hell Ooh. my pants go and why is my girlfriend crying? <laughs> I say that I remember what I did, but I'm not lying. There's a tattoo. This is an advertisement for AA. I'm just saying. Oh, Lord. I don't think anybody on Three Beds has ever had that experience that bad. If one did, who would it have been? I don't know. I don't think any of them. I don't think any of them. I'm trying to think who I know that would have had that experience. Like who, what, what reactors I know that would have had that experience. I bet you, I, I know he's not part of this, but I bet you XMC's had that experience before. I bet you he has. <laughs> right? I, I can picture him. Him and I seem similar. I can picture him having one of those days. So, all right. Girlfriend crying. I say that I remember what I did, but I am lying. There's a tattoo on my butt cheek. It's a beer can. And a 
Oh Lord. And that was all one night. We lost the fight together, that's a win to me. We lost the fight together, that's a win for me. <laughs> Bro, I have taken that let me write that one down right now. If we lose a fight together, that's a win for me. I'm right that down. Okay. If we if, if put it on voice chat. No, yeah, so we'll go back. Go add a new rep. There we go. If we lose the fight together, that's a win for me. Okay, I'm saving that one. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I needed a good one. Oh, bro. Pretty stupid person, nonetheless. You try to help me because I'm hurting. I confess, sometimes I feel like I'm not worth it. I don't drink because when uh, I'm drunk, I'm a problem. I don't care uh -huh. who I hurt. I feel those boots are I wild, bro. Holy crap, it's uh, and the funny thing is, the funny thing is, they're wild because back in my days as a punker, I would have been worn something like that, dude. I would have some, some big Doc Martens with, with patterns on them or something. I don't know, dude. See, look at that. But bro, you didn't tie it. You didn't tie him up. Okay. You know, don't trip over your laces, Tom. I'm just saying. I don't care who I hurt. I feel awesome. Holy crap! It's either jail or a coffin. Right. Sweet enough. I'ma be at rock bottom. Please help. Tell me how would I end up here? Last night I had one too many beers. <laughs> And you can you can tell you can tell that that Tom's attended a meeting or two in his life, or, because he's talking a lot like a lot of alcoholics do at, at meetings. I'm just saying, I, I make no qualm about it. I've been I've been there, done that, man. I my, I was just like this. My friends used to like if I started drinking scotch, my friends just knew to leave me the hell alone because it wasn't going to be a good night. But if I was just chilling, we were just having a couple beers, I was good. So it was like hard liquor and me did not mix. That's why me and Tequila ended up with me in jail in Tijuana with a guy I got into a fight with in the same cell with me, dude. It wasn't a good idea afterwards. So, I kind of just stick to beer now. Why I texted all my exes and we haven't spoken in years. Every time right? I'm hungover, oh, don't you, you never want to do that. So funny. I threw up on my front step and I wasted all my money. I got naked uh. in a nightclub right in front of all my buddies. Then I okay, yeah. I had my friends tell me afterwards that I wasn't allowed to go back to the bar we were at the night before because of the stuff I did, and I didn't remember doing any of it. So I went over there and tried to clear things up, and it, it, they, they let me back in after a couple days. They were just like, dude, you need a few days off, bro. They had never seen anybody climb on top of the bar and drop their pants. I was hammered, dude. I was hammered. It was the Buffalo Inn. Uh yeah, little tiny bar too, dude. I don't know what I was thinking. I probably the bathroom was full. I was gonna take a whiz in the sink or something. I don't know, dude. That's what I'm saying. When you doing stuff like that, you might have some problems. Wasted all my money. I got naked in a nightclub right in front of all my buddies. Then I went home with. And I bet you right now, that three pets react and casual are all saying, "I bet that happened to back to school." They're all pointing at me right now, like. Because none of them were like, none of them were like this, bro. Oh, bro. Right? I hate that. 
I hate that. Right. Uh oh. We need to clear it. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure that last night. Dude, if they if this ain't an advertisement for recovery, I don't know what is, bro. Right. Uh huh. Video again by now. Hey, still can't find the phone? Bro, hey, Tom, it's over there. Hello, I saw. Hello babe. Yeah. Hello, babe. I was just recording me calling you so I could put it in the song. Oh. Okay. Isn't that cool? I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> He's such a goof, dude. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Their videos are fun. This was a good one. I loved it. I really feel like this is like the calling card for people who gone to who need to go to meetings. I'm just saying. I've heard some crazy stories and see these sound like some of them, man. Tom, you killed it again. Uh, as for the guys, uh, this wasn't a bar-heavy song. This was a content-heavy song, just listening to it. So there's not a lot of bars that I'm thinking, like, oh, did they catch this, or did they catch that, or did they catch... I just have a feeling that I'm going to get talked to afterwards, like they're going to do some group counseling on me or something. <laughs> we'll see. Oh man, this is so much fun. Thank you, Tom McDonald, for giving us this one. Thank you guys for doing this, this your reactions to it. I'll I'll look for each year and see what you guys did with yours too. As always, be healthy, be happy, be good to each other, stay blessed. And if that's you, um, there's a meeting near you right now. They're on Zoom even. You don't even have to leave your house, although that makes it easier for you to stay home with your hangover drinking and nursing that thing while in an AA meeting. But I'm just saying, they're there. All right? Peace, everyone.